introduce you to the officials who will be presiding over the competition. Officials, please rise as I call your name. First, I'm excited to introduce you to our pronouncer, Lisa Johnson. Next, we have Bethany Baker, judge. Next, we have Katie O'Day, judge. And we have Alex Krass, our record keeper. Thank you, officials. Today, you will enjoy a great American tradition. The format for the competition is that of a traditional spell down. That is, each of the spellers you see here will receive one word per round. Success in today's spelling bee is, in the beginning, all about what you've memorized. But in the end, we will bridge, and it will likely be about words you probably have not memorized. When your moment arrives, just do like the pros do in DC. Slow down, ask questions, think positively, and you'll be ready to meet the challenge. Before we begin, I'd like to spend a moment talking about the microphone. Spellers, the microphone is important because it assists you in ensuring the judges hear your spelling. When it's your turn, adjust the microphone so that it is a comfortable height for you. Before you begin to spell, speak the word you are given into the microphone for the judges. This will give the judges an opportunity to determine if you're pronouncing your word correctly. When you're ready to spell your word, remember to take a deep breath, enunciate each letter with care, and speak directly into the microphone. Now let's talk about what happens at the end of the beat. If all spellers in a round misspell, all spellers in that round will remain in the competition and a new spelling round will begin. If only one speller spells correctly in a round, a new one word spelling round will begin and the speller will be given an opportunity to spell a word on the list. If the speller succeeds in correctly spelling the anticipated championship word in this one word round, the speller will be declared the champion. On behalf of the Burlington School, thank you for joining us to celebrate the achievements of these fantastic young spellers. Let's begin. ready to begin round one of the Burlington School Spelling Bee. Spellers, I would like to remind you of what will happen if you misspell during the, this round. One of the judges will ring a bell, then I will provide the correct spelling, and you will proceed to the bleachers to join your classmates for the remainder of the competition. Record keepers, are you ready? You want me to move closer? Is that better? Okay. Still good? Okay. Is this good? All right. Part. That is correct. 
Dawson, please approach the microphone. Dawson, your word is well. Take your mic, take your mic. Can you please say that again? Your word is well. Devil, well. W-E-L-L. -L. That's correct. Oh, well. That's correct. Rhea, please approach the microphone. Rhea, this word has a homonym. The word is meat, its, de its part of speech is verb, and its definition is to be introduced to or made acquainted with. Your word is meat. Meat. M-E-E-T. Meat. That is correct. Pages are out of Milani, please approach the microphone. Take your mask off. Milani, your word is gift. G I F T, gift. That is correct. Jack, please approach the microphone. Jack, your word is thing. Your word is thing. Is, ver is a verb, and its definition is to publish, announce, or advertise by or as if by the use of a placard. Your word is post. Post. P-O-S-T. Post. That is correct. Deja, please approach the microphone. the microphone. Austin, this word could be confused with a similar word. Your word is mink. It's part of speech is noun, and its definition is any of several slender bodied semi-aquatic carnivorous mammals that resemble and are closely related to the weasels and have partially webbed feet, a thick, soft, usually dark brown coat, and a rather short, bushy tail. Your word is mink. Mink. M-I-N-K. Mink. That is correct. Oh, please approach the microphone. is rush. May I have the definition? The definition is a sound of or as if of swift movement. Rush. R-U-S-H. Rush. That is correct. That concludes round number one. Judges are having some 
some difficulty here. Hello. I'm not going to say come to the microphone. You guys figure out what to do at that point, right? right. So, Ms. Kelsey, if you would come on. Kelsey, this word can be confused with a similar word. The word is large. The word is, don't spell it. The word is large. It is an adjective, and its definition is exceeding most other things of like kind in bulk, capacity, quantity, superficial dimensions, or number of constituent units. Your word is large. Large. L-A-R-G-E. Large. That's correct. Abby. Abby, your word is a homonym, or has a homonym. The word is plates. Its part of speech is a plural noun. Its definition is shallow, usually circular vessels as of china, wood, or plastic from which food is eaten. Your word is plates. Plates. P-L-A-T-E-S. Plates. That is correct. <laughs> Henry. Cell. It is part of speech is a noun. Its definition is one of the compartments of a honeycomb. Your word is cell. Cell. C E L L. Cell. That is correct. Dawson. Word is a homonym. It, the word is beak. The part of speech is a noun. Its definition is the bill of a bird. Your word is beak. Beak. B e a k. Beak. That is correct. Ria. Your word is a homonym. There's a pattern here. The word is prize. Its part of speech is adjective. Its definition is having been awarded or being worthy of an honor or reward striven for its competitive contest. Your word is prize. Prize. P-R-I-Z-E. Prize. That is correct. Milani. Your word is stopped. Stopped. S T O P P E D. Stopped. That is correct. Jack. Your word is turning. Definition is revolving mentally, thinking over, pondering. Turning. T U R N I N G. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is shelter. Shelter. H-E-L-T-E-R, shelter. That is correct. Deja.
your word is goals. Gold. G O A L S. Gold. Austin. This word can be confused with a similar word. The word is gushed. The part of speech is verb, and its definition is poured, issued, flowed, or spouted copiously or violently, often used with forth or out. Could you use that sentence? Water gushed out of the new hole in the aquarium, and Ralphie knew he'd never see his BB gun again. Gushed. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is foam. Its part of speech is noun. Its definition is a light whitish mass of fine bubbles that is formed in or on the surface of a liquid by agitation as of ocean waves, or fermentation of, or effervescence, a dispersion of a gas or vapor in liquid, in a liquid froth. Foam. F-O-A-M, foam. That's correct. And that concludes round two. This word has a near hominem. The word is knife. Its part of speech is noun. 
its definition, a simple instrument used for cutting, consisting of a sharp-edged, usually steel blade with a handle. Your word is knife. Knife. Someone blurted out the answer while he was still while he still had his hand raised. Blurted. B L U R T E D. Blurted. That is correct. Deja. Your word is baskets. B-A-S-K-E-T-S, -E baskets. That is correct. Austin. Austin, your word is focus. Focus, F-O-C-U-S, focus. That is correct. Gusto. Gusto. G U S T O. Gusto. That is correct. And that concludes round three. roster used for organizing a personal digital music collection. Playlist. Playlist. P-L-A-Y-L-I-S-T. Playlist. That is correct. Abby. Your word is trickster. Trickster, T-R-I-C-K-S-T-E-R, Trickster. That is correct. Henry. This word has a homonym, dire. Its part of speech is adjective, its definition is demanding immediate action to fend off disastrous consequences, exigent and urgent. Can we use it in a sentence? The school was in dire need of a technology upgrade. The computer still used floppy disks. Dire. D I R E. That is correct. Dawson. Your word is sitcom. 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 S I T C O M. Sitcom. That is correct. Rhea. This word has a homonym, indie. Its part of speech is noun. Its definition is something such as a record or film produced by an unaffiliated company, indie. Indie. Can you please use it in a sentence? You've probably never heard of my favorite film, Snipped the Hipster. It's an indie. Could you please repeat the word? 
Indy. Indy. I N D I E. Indy. That is correct. Milan. Your word is scrolls. Scrolls. S C R O L S L S. Sorry, that's not. <laughs> Jack. Jack, your word is detect. As, which one? Definition. <laughs> to discover or determine the existence. Presence or fact of? Detect. Detect. D E C. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Critical to savor each bite of food when dining out. Savor. S A V O R. Savor. That is correct. Deja. Your word is pineapple. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E, pineapple. That is correct. Austin. Austin, your word is hedgehog. Hedgehog, H-E-D-G-E-H-O. That is correct. Oh. Your word is squints. Can I have the definition? Looks suspiciously or with envy, malice or disapproval. Can you repeat the word? Squints. Squints. S Q U I N T S. Squints. That is correct. Kelsey. Your word is wardrobe. Wardrobe. W A R D R O B E. Wardrobe. That is correct. Your word is irregular. Can you use it in a sentence, please? When the entire class wore their clothes backwards on Friday, the teacher could tell that something highly irregular was afoot. Irregular. I R R E A. G U L A. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Sorry, I might not have that. Henry. Henry, your word is texture. Can you use it in a sentence? 
May loved the texture of silk so much that she asked for silk pillowcases for her birthday. Mm -hmm. Texture. T E X T U R E. That is correct. Dawson. Your word is cringed. 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 C R I N G E D. Cringed. That is correct. Ria. Your word is wizard. Wizard. Can I have the definition, please? A, geni a genius or prodigy, especially in a particular field of endeavor. Wizard, can you use it in a sentence, please? Daya has the reputation of being the class's math wizard. Can you please repeat the word? Wizard. Wizard. W-I-Z-A-R-D. Wizard. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is vibrant. Vibrant. V-I-B-R-A-N-T. Vibrant. That is correct. Deja. Your word is s'mores. S'mores. S. Apostrophe M O R E S, s'mores. That is correct. Austin. Your word is basically. Could you use it in a sentence? Alistair had always believed that people were basically decent, but then he met the cousins on his mother's side. Basically, B A S I C A L L Y, basically. That's correct. Oh. Your word is Jamestown. Jamestown. J A M E S T O W N. Jamestown. That is correct. chambers, often large or indefinite in extent. What is the word again? Caverns. C-A-V-E-R-N-S. That is correct. Dawson. Your word is fidgeting. Can you please repeat that? Fidgeting. F-I-D-G-E-T-I-N-G. That is fidgeting. Correct. That is correct. Rhea. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is dependable. Its part of speech is adjective, 
His definition is trustworthy, dependable. Dependable. Can I have it in a sentence, please? When hiring, companies look for dependable employees who will complete their work on time. Dependable. D E P E N D A B L E. Dependable. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is lavished. Lavished. L A V I S H E D. Lavished. That is correct. Deja. Your word is cobblestone. Cobblestone. C O. B B L E S T O N E cobblestone. That is correct. Austin. Your word is scrawny. I spent weeks nursing the scrawny puppy back to health. Lean, thin, raw boned, ill nourished. Scrawny. S C R. That is correct. <coughs> oh. Your word is mutual. May I have the definition? Shared in common, enjoyed by each, common. Mutual. M U T U A L, mutual. That is correct. Spellers, just a reminder, make sure you're saying the word before you start to spell it. Your word is Neptune. Can I have a definition, please? The planet eighth in order from the sun, used in astronomy. Capital N E P T U N E. That is correct. So let me just give you an example. What, when you spell the word, when you say it, you have to say the word and then start spelling. Is that, does everyone understand that? Okay, Dawson. Your word is alibi. Wait, can you please repeat that? Alibi. Can you use it in a sentence? To support his alibi, Jake showed a video he made during his trip to Hawaii. A L I B I, alibi. That is correct. Ria. This word could be confused with a similar word, invasions. It's a plural noun. Its definition is hostile entrances or armed attacks on the property or territory of another for conquest or plunder, invasions. Can you please use it in a sentence? The Nazi invasions of neighboring countries were terrifyingly swift. Invasions. I N B A S I O N S. Invasions. 
occasions. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is adorned. Adorned. Can you use it in a sentence? His shoes were polished, his hat was well brushed, and a lace handkerchief adorned his breast pocket. Adorned. A D O R N E D. Adorned. That is correct. Deja. Your word is telescope. Telescope. T E L E S C O P E. Telescope. That is correct. Austin. Your word is surrounded. Surrounded. S U R R O U A D E D. Surrounded. That is correct. Oh. Your word is Juneteenth. Juneteenth. J U N E T E E N T H. That is correct. experience in a specific field or activity, beginner. Novice. N O V I C E. That is correct. Dawson. Your word is ostriches. Can you please repeat that? Ostriches. Can you use it in a sentence? To avoid detection, ostriches lie on the ground and stretch their necks out flat, but they do not bury their heads in sand. O S T R A C H E S. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Ria. Your word is expanse. Expanse, can I have the definition, please? Something that is spread out typically over a wide area, such as an extensive and usually unbroken stretch of land or sea. Can you please use it in a sentence? Standing on the shore of Lake Michigan and looking out at the expanse of gently lapping waves, Charisse felt a sense of deep calm. Expanse. Can you please repeat the word? Expanse. Expanse. E. X P A N S E expanse. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is preened. Can you use it in a sentence? Eva's cat curled up on the couch and preened its fur before settling in for a nap. Preen. P R E E N E D preened. That is correct. Deja. This word has a near homonym. Waddles. 
its part of speech is a plural noun, and its definition is materials as rods, branches, and reeds used for building construction. May I use it in a sentence? Rowan collected wattles to keep his aunt, to help his aunt construct a shed in the backyard. Can you repeat the word? Waddles. W-A-D-D-L-E-S. Waddles. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Austin, your word is orientation. The hikers used a map and a compass for orientation prior to setting out on the trail. Orientation. O R E T A T I O R orientation. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Your word is decimal. May I have the definition? The U.S. uses a system of decimal coinage with each dollar divided into 100 cents. Decimal. D-E-C-I-M-A-L. Decimal. That is correct. This word has a homonym. The word is conquers. It is a plural noun, and its definition is a game popular in England in which each player swings a horse chestnut, or originally a snail shell, threaded on a string to try to break one held by an opponent. Libby and Abe spent all afternoon collecting chestnuts so they could play Conkers. Conkers. Your word is dingoes. Dingoes, can I have the definition please? Wild dogs of Australia with a wolfish face, bushy tail, and usually a reddish brown color. Can you please use it in a sentence? One of the longest structures in the world is a fence that, has con that was constructed in Australia in the late 19th century to keep sheep flocks safe from dingoes. Can you please repeat the word? Dingoes. Dingoes. D-I-N-G-O-E-S. Dingoes. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is emitting. Emitting. Can you use it in a sentence? Hannah's much needed sleep was interrupted by her cat emitting a yorn mournful cry. Emitting. E M I T T I N G. Emitting. That is correct. Oh. Your word is granules. Granules. 
G-R-A-N-U-L-E-S, granules. That is correct. Your word is contorted. Contorted, can I have the definition please? Twisted or twisted together, especially in a strained or violent manner, bent. Contorted, can you please use it in a sentence? Years of, fe excuse me, start over. Years of fierce sea winds has contorted the tree into a strange shape. Contorted, C-O-N-T-O-R, T-E-D, contorted. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is invigorating. Invigorating, can you use it in a sentence? After so much time indo indoors, Ronnie found the fresh air to be invigorating. Invigorating. I am the I G O R A T I N G invigorating. That is correct. Oh. This word could be confused with a similar word. Contraption. Part of speech is noun, and its definition is a newfangled or complicated device, usually used in mild scorn or indulgence. Contraption. C-O-N-T-R-A-P-T-I-O-N, contraption. That is correct. Your word is sustenance. Sustenance. Can I have the definition, please? Food refreshments. Sustenance. Can you please use it in a sentence? Before the Great Famine, many people in Ireland relied on the potato as their main source of sustenance. Sustenance. S U S T E N A N C E. Sustenance. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is professional. Professional. P R O F E S S I O N A L. Professional. That is correct. Your word is columns. May I have the plural speech? Plural noun. May I have the definition? Vertical arrangement of items printed or written on a page or otherwise inscribed. Vertical lists. Can you repeat the word? Columns. Columns. C-O-L-U-M-N-S, columns. That is correct. that is traditionally made from a blend of black tea, honey, spices, and milk. Chai, can you please use it in a sentence? After her yoga class, Zabrina met her best friend to catch up over a cup of chai. Chai. C-H-A-I, chai. That is correct. is instinctive. Instinctive. I-N-S-T-I-N-C-T-I-V-E. Instinctive. 
That is correct. Oh, your word is swankiest. May I have the definition? The most ostentatious. Swankiest. S W A N K I E S T. Swankiest. That is correct. Discriminating. Discriminating. Can you please give me the definition? Careful or fastidious in selection, discerning, judicious. Can you use it in a sentence, please? A child of discriminating taste, Millicent insisted on eating Fruit Loops, never ever fruity pebbles. Discriminating. D I S C R I N I N A. T I N G discriminating. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is penchant. Penchant. Can you use it in a sentence? While visiting Ankara, Nanette developed a penchant for Turkish coffee. Penchant. P E N C H A N T penchant. That is correct. Oh. Your word is morbidity. May I have the definition? A disease, state, or symptom, ill health. Morbidity. M O R B I. D I T Y morbidity. That is correct. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is drudgery. It is a noun. Its definition is dull, fatiguing, and unrelieved work of expenditure or of effort. Drudgery. Can you please use it in a sentence? Rupert welcomes any new invention that helps take some of the drudgery out of housework. Drudgery. Drudgery. D R U D G E R Y drudgery. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is intolerance. Intolerance. Can you use it in a sentence? Ginny is grateful that she does not suffer suffer from lactose intolerance since ice cream is her favorite food. Intolerance. I N T O L E R A N C E intolerance. That is correct. Oh. Your word is permanence. Permanence. May I have the definition? The quality or state of being without fundamental or marked change, durability. Permanence. P E R M A N E N C E. Permanence. That is correct. Your word is appeasement. Appeasement. Can I have the definition, please? A policy of concil conciliating or buying off a potential aggressor of political or economic concessions 
usually at the sacrifice of principles. Can you please use it in a sentence? The most notorious historical example of appeasement is the Munich Agreement where British Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain accepted Nazi Germany's annexation of the Sudanland. Could you please repeat the word? Appeasement. Appeasement. A P P E A S E M E N T. Appeasement. That is correct. Man. is referral. Referral. Can you use it in a sentence? Jack has a referral to see a specialist about his environmental allergies. Referral. R E F E R R A L referral. That is correct. Oh. Your word is transept. Transept. T R A N S E P T. Transept. Ria. Your word is perdition. Perdition. Can I have a definition, please? Utter loss of the soul or of a final happiness in a future state. Could you please repeat the word? Perdition. Perdition. Can you please use it in a sentence? Overly remorseful for his minor wrongdoings, Callum felt sure of perdition. Perdition. P E R D I T I O N. Perdition. That is correct. Mandy. Your word is fortuitous. Fortuitous. Can you use it in a sentence? Gavin's timing was fortuitous as he was starving and the chocolate chip cookies had just come out of the oven. Fortuitous. F O R T U I T I O U S. Fortuitous. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. We are down to Oh, your word is pallid. May I have the definition? Tacking, oops, lacking the normal amount of color when used when used especially if the human countenance is Ill, in illness. Can you repeat the word? Pallid. Pallid. P-A-L-L-I-D. Pallid. That is correct. <laughs> we are down to two. Miss Rhea. Your word is Padre. Padre. Can I have the definition, please? A military chaplain. Could you please use it in a sentence? As a padre in the British Army, Henry discourages the unit from addressing him as sir because he is outside the chain of command for his unit. Padre. P A D R E. Padre. That is correct. Oh. Congealing. Congealing. May I have the definition? Assuming a fixed, rigid, or unchanging form of character. Congealing. C O N G E A L I N G. Congealing. That is correct. Kimchi. Kimchi. Can I have the definition, please? 
a vegetable pickle seasoned with garlic, red pepper, and ginger that is the national dish of Korea. Kimchi, could you please use, use it in a sentence? Kimchi has a strong smell, but is strangely delicious and full of probiotics. Could you please repeat the word? Kimchi. Kimchi, K-I-N-C-H-I, kimchi. That is correct. Oh. Your word is resinous. May I have the definition? Of or relating to a luster of certain minerals and rocks as, excuse me, of rocks that on fractional surfaces have the appearance of any of various hard, brittle, solid to soft, semi-solid, amorphous, fusible, flammable substances that are usually transparent or translucent and yellowish to brown in color with a characteristic luster. Can you repeat the word? Resinous. Resinous. R-E-S-I-N-O-U-S, -E resinous. That is correct. definition is the air or bearing of a person, especially as expense, expressive of mood or personality. Me, could you please use it in a sentence? Fame and fortune did not alter Mabel's humble mean. Me. N I E N me. That is correct. is poultice. May I have the definition? A soft mass usually heated and spread on cloth for application to sores, inflamed areas, or other lesions to supply moist warmth, relieve pain, or act as a counter itinerant or antiseptic. Can you repeat the word? Poultice. Poultice. P-O-U-L-T-I-C-E, Poultice. That is correct. <laughs> Your word is plastron. Plastron, can I have a definition please? The ventral part of the shell of a tortoise or turtle consisting typically of nine symmetrically placid placed bones overlaid by hard horn-like plates. Plastron, could you please use it in the sentence? When Yasmin noticed signs of shell rot on her turtle's plastron, she whisked it to a veterinarian for treatment. Could you please repeat the word? Plastron. Plastron. P L-A-S-T-R-O-N, plastron. That is correct. Oh. Your word is hawsers. May I have the definition? Large ropes for towing or mooring a ship or securing it to a dock. Can you repeat the word? Hawsers. Hawsers. H A W S E R S. Hawsers. That is correct. Oh, yeah. This word could be confused with a similar word coracle. It's a noun. Its definition is a small boat made by covering a wicker frame with hide or leather. Coracle. Could you please use it in a sentence? Aiko rode an old coracle to the small island in the middle 
of the lake. Albion. May I have the definition? Awesome. Great Britain or England? Can you repeat the word? Albion. Albion. A L B I O N. Albion. I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sour cherry that typically has bright red skin and pale yellow, somewhat tart flesh, and that is often used in desserts, jams, and juices. Could you please repeat the word? Montmorency. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Herb plucked a montmorency from the tree and added it to his bucket. Could you please repeat the word? Montmorency. Montmorency. M-O-N-T. M O R E N C Y, not Morency. That is correct. <coughs> oh. Your word is ducats. Excuse me, hang on to it. This word is a homonym, ducats. It, part of speech is a plural noun. Its definition is gold coins of European countries copied from a silver coin issued by Roger II, Count of Sicily, about 1150, 20th century issues of which include a coin of Austria issued from 1901 to 1950. Can you repeat the word? Ducats. Ducats. D-U-C-A-T-S, ducats. That is correct. southern Saskatchewan and Manitoba to New Mexico and Texas. Could you please repeat the word? Arapaho. Arapaho. Could you use it in a sentence, please? Some believe the name of the Arapaho come from the Crow designation meaning many tattoos. Arapaho. A-R-A-P-A-H-O. Arapaho. That is correct. Oh. Your word is Quasimodo. May I have the definition? The Sunday following Easter, low Sunday. Can you repeat the word? Quasimodo. Quasimodo. Q-U-A-S-I-M-O-D-O. -O. Quasimodo. That is correct. under little or no shelter, usually for a short time, also the site of such encampment. Could you please repeat the word? Bivouac. Could you use it in a sentence, please? The soldiers set up tents for their weekend-long bivouac. Bivouac. B-I-V-O-U-A-C, bivouac. That is correct. Oh, 
this word could be confused with a similar word, ziggurat. It's a noun. Its definition is an ancient Babylonian temple towering consisting of a lofty pyramidal structure built in successive stepped back stages with outside staircases and a shrine at the top. Can you repeat the word? Ziggurat. Ziggurat. Z-I-G-G-U-R-A-T, ziggurat. That is correct. solemn Jewish fast day falling on the 10th day of Tashira and marked by continuous prayer and repentance according to the rites ascribed in Leviticus 16. Could you please use it in the sentence? Yom Kippur, also known as the Day of Atonement, is the holiest day of the year in Judaism. Could you please repeat the word? Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur. Why? K-I-P-P-U-R, Yom Kippur. That is correct. Oh. Oh, your word is Edinburgh. Can you repeat the word? Edinburgh. Geographical, excuse me, a city and capital of Scotland. Can you repeat the word? Edinburgh. Can I have the part of speech? Geographical entry. And the origin? This word is a Scottish geographical name. Can you repeat the word? Edinburgh. Edinburgh. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Just one more. After conferring with the judges, when we said the word, you didn't hear it correctly. So we're going to do. We're going to give you another word. Oh, um, your word is Lindsay Woolsey. Lindsay Woolsey, L I N S E Y W O O L S E Y. Lindsay Woolsey. That is. Correct. Southwest Central Germany on the Rhine River. Wiesbaden is one of the oldest spa towns in Europe and is famous for its hot springs. Could you please repeat the word? Wiesbaden. Wiesbaden. W I E S B A D E N. Wiesbaden. That is correct. Colonia. 
colonia. May I have the definition? The genus comprising the green turtles. Colonia. C H E L O N I A. Colonia. That is correct. Independence. Independence. Can I have the definition, please? The quality or state of being not subject to control by others. Freedom, liberty. Independence. Could you please use it in a sentence? The island nation celebrated its 20th year of political independence. This word can be confused with a similar word. The word is gawking. It's part of speech as a verb. Its definition is looking without intelligent awareness, gaping, gaping, or staring stupidly, then often used with at. Can you repeat the word? Gawking. Gawking. G-A-W-K-I-N-G, gawking. That is correct. This word has a near hominin. Tresses, its part of speech is a plural noun. Its definition is long locks of hair, especially the long, unbound hair of a woman. Could you please repeat the word? Tresses. Can I have the definition, please? Long locks of hair, especially the long, unbound hair of a woman. Could you please repeat the word? Tresses. That is correct. Oh. Your word is demise. Demise. May I have a definition? Discontinuance or secession of activity or operation. Demise. D E M I S E. Demise. That is correct. speech is adjective and its definition is strongly built, stout, sturdy. Could you please repeat the word? Burly. Burly. Could you use it in a sentence please? The director chose Harry for the part of the construction worker because of his burly appearance. Could you give the origin please? The word is originally English. Could you please repeat the word? Burly.
I want to remind the audience that we have to be quiet, but I do want to acknowledge that we've been sitting for a while. So if everyone, including if, if you go back and just stretch, so just chill for a second. Everyone stand up and just stretch. <laughs> between the lateral incisor and the first premolar in humans and many animals, canine teeth. Could you repeat the word? Cuspids. Cuspids. Can I have the parts of speech, please? Plural noun. Could you please use it in a sentence? In humans, the permanent cuspids typically emerge when a child is approximately 12 years old. Cuspids. Cuspids. C U S P I D S. Cuspids. That is correct. Oh. Um. Your word is gyrate. May I have the definition? To turn or swing back and forth, often rapidly, with or as if with a circular or spiral motion. Can I have the part of speech and the origin? Part of speech is verb, its origin is Latin. Can you repeat the word? Gyrate. Gyrate. G Y R A T E, gyrate. That is correct. Cool. Yeah. 
Your word is fracking. Fracking? Can I have the definition, please? The injection of fluid into shale beds at a high pressure in order to free up petroleum resources such as oil or natural gas. Fracking. Can I have the origin, please? This word is an alliteration of an originally Latin word. Fracking. Fracking. Could you please use it in a sentence? Fracking has resulted in a natural gas boom for America while also raising concerns about environmental damage and rapid depletion rates. Could you please repeat the word? Fracking. 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 F R A C K I N G fracking. That is correct. Oh, this word could be confused with a similar word. The word is snapple. It is a noun. Its definition is a bridal bit in the mouthpiece of which has one or more joints or links and which consists in its simplest form of two bars tapering to where they are joined by a single ring. Can you repeat the word? Snapple. Snapple. S-N-A-F-F-L-E, Snapple. That is correct. is covert. Covert. Can I have the definition, please? Performed or expressed surreptitiously with reluctance to admit or avow or with attempt at concealment. Um, could you please use it in a sentence? There were many covert yawns from Jamie and Max as Dad continued to explain the color-coded chore spreadsheet for the third time that evening. Could you please repeat the word? Covert. 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 C O V E R T. Covert. That is correct. Oh. This word could be confused with a similar word. The word is dirge. It's a noun, and its definition is a song or hymn expressing grief or a solemn sense of loss especially to accompany funeral or memorial rites. Can you use it in the sentence? The mourners sang a dirge as they walked behind the casket. Can you repeat the word? Dirge. Dirge. D-U-R-G-E, dirge. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Rhea, you have to spell one more word. This word has a homonym. The word is lasagna. It is a noun. It is a baked dish containing layers of boiled pasta ribbons and usually cheese, a seasoned sauce of tomatoes, and meat or vegetables. Can I have the definition, please? A baked dish containing layers of boiled pasta ribbons and usually cheese, a seasoned sauce of tomatoes, and meat or vegetables. Kate was never quite an enthusiast, enthusiastic about microwave lasagna after her grandma made the genuine article. Lasagna. Lasagna. L A S A G N A. Lasagna. That is correct. Congratulations, Rhea. You are the Burlington Spelling Bees champion.